Hello, I am Thibaut Guignes, I'm a deep freediver and today I'm going to talk to you about stretching for freediving. Stretching is essential for freediving in my opinion. It will bring you many benefits. First benefit, you will recover better after your dive or after an effort as it stimulates venous circulation. Another benefit is the increase in your flexibility. So increase in your flexibility means you will be able to handle the pressure better at depth, but also it will make you having a more efficient and better technique because the more flexible you are, the more the little parasitic movements uh, are removed and then you have better technique and more efficiency. Another reason why you have better technique, and to me that's one of the biggest benefits of stretching, is the body awareness it will help you to get. For sure, if you spend little by little hours like stretching, feeling the, the, the tension in your muscle as you take one position, little by little you will get a great body awareness and that will help you uh, develop better technique for all disciplines but also uh, being able to relax way more because if you don't feel that you're not relaxed then the, the first step to relax is first to feel the tensions and this body awareness will really help you with this and last but not least you can also work on your lung capacities with stretching you can either increase your total lung capacity with what we call full lung stretching, and you can also uh, decrease your residual volume, the residual volume being the volume that you have left in your lungs after a full exhale. That means that if you have lower residual volume, you will be able to equalize deeper and also better uh, for the same depth, you, your equalization will be easier and also that will help you handle the pressure at depths much better to have low residual volume. A few recommendations for your stretching practice. Uh, the first thing is you should hold the stretching positions for at least 30 seconds. If you want to develop flexibility on the long term, this term of stretching is necessary. If you do it shorter, you might get some of the other benefits, but the long-term flexibility will not, uh, will not work as well. Second uh, advice is when you do a certain stretch, a certain position, and if you want to push a little bit the stretch, make sure you make it on an exhale. When you exhale, it sends signals to, to your brain to relax your muscles and usually that helps to increase a little bit the amplitude of the stretching in a natural way. Another recommendation is about regularity. The idea is not to do one stretching session every two weeks, pushing like crazy, sweating and hurting and then not having the motivation to do it for the next two weeks. It's better to do like light and enjoyable sessions like three, four times a week. You can even do it in front of, of a movie if you like, it doesn't really matter. The important is that you do it regularly. Uh, so make it an enjoyable moment, do yoga if you prefer to do yoga, but do it regularly and consistently. Also, you can do a little bit of warm-up before stretching, that will definitely help. Uh, you can do a bit of more dynamic stretching where you do movements on all your body to, to warm up a bit the body for the stretch. Uh, and in the same spirit, don't stretch like very strong right away, especially if you're not warmed up, you might damage a little bit your muscles. Another important point is to focus on your stretching while you are stretching. 
try to feel which muscles are stretched, how you feel in your body, that's how you will develop the body awareness uh, during the stretching routines. Definitely before you dive, if you stretch, you should keep it light because stretching can be tiring and also you kind of use the elasticity of your muscle fiber and then they take a bit of time to recover. So keep it light before your sessions. Now, should you do it in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon? To me, the most important point is to do it regularly, not necessarily exactly when you do it. Do it when you have time first, it's already a, a big step. And then if you want to optimize a bit your practice, you can, but first is to do it. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it will help you increase your flexibility and make you better freedivers.